Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm sorry about the glasses on and the glare of my computer but I need them on so that I can read. Um, I live in a town called Hamilton, Ohio and we're considered part of the Cincinnati metropolitan area. We are about 35-40 minutes north of Cincinnati. Anyway, in this video today I want to talk about one of our citizens from here. Um, not known, kind of known, but not for the for any good reasons. His name was Glenn Rogers, and he is a serial killer. Okay, he was born here in 19, July 15, 1962, and he was uh, raised here. He was uh, one of, uh, let's see, he was one of seven children. I'm sorry, I couldn't read that at first. His parents' names were Edna and Claude Rogers. Claude was a pump operator when we had the Champion paper here, which has since then uh, closed down. And so, and he was a little bit of a troublemaker. He was expelled from school before he was even 16 years old. Shortly after that, his, uh, his girlfriend, uh, her name was Deborah Ann Nix, she became pregnant by another man. But he married her and, you know, uh, let the child carry his name as if it were his own. And then they had another child in 1981. Uh, in 1983, she filed for divorce, claiming that there was uh, br brutal physical abuse. Uh, that probably sounds about right. Okay, his first victim is a suspected victim. And his name was Mark Peters. He was a 71-year-old retired electrician. He was a veteran. And... Uh, so in a cabin that belonged to the Rogers family in Kentucky, they found his body. So they believe that Glenn murdered this man, but I don't think they ever had any proof to prove that's why he's a suspected victim. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, his first victim was Sandra Gallagher. He met her at a bar out in Los Angeles. Oh, hold on a minute. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. He met her at a bar in Los Angeles, California. Uh, she was seeing, I believe, that the uh, uh, let's see. I think it was the, uh, the well. I think the night he met her, he killed her because I believe it was the next day they found her. She was strangled and burnt in her car, and her car was located near uh, Glenn's apartment. Okay, from there, then Glenn moved to Mississippi. And there he came across a woman named Linda Price. And her sister said she had saw, saw her the day before Halloween in 1995 when the two were planning to have Carol's grandchildren go uh, trick-or-treating at Price's apartment complex. However, the next day, Price did not answer the door and Rogers was gone. So uh, when they got there, they found her body. She was strangled to death and was in her bedroom wrapped up in in the bed clothing, in the sheets and stuff. And then he moved to Florida. There he met a woman named Tina Marie uh, Cribs. Um, on night, and it says November 5th, 1995, Cribs was seen leaving the Showtown bar in Tampa with Rogers. A bartender told police that Rogers had bought Cribs and her friends drinks and Cribs was later asked <clears throat> for a ride by him. So two days later, a member of the cleaning staff at a Tampa motel found her body. She had been stabbed in the chest and buttocks. Uh, so, you know, and then he moved on to Louisiana. And then there was another victim, Andy Giles Sutton. Uh, Sutton was a known acquaintance of Rogers, and the body was found on November 9th, 1995, on a... Uh, punctured waterbed in her apartment so and he claimed to have killed over 70 people but then he recanted and said no he was joking that he hadn't committed any murders anyway the state of California sentenced him to death and he was known as the cross-country killer or the Casanova uh, Casanova killer uh, he was sentenced as far as I know he's still sitting on death row in California um, but, uh, he, his crimes, he, he was also charged with arson because he did burn the first body that he killed, uh, the first person that he killed. So, um, uh, 
he is uh, awaiting to be executed. So um, he's a, a, you know, kind of a, a known citizen from here, but not for for a good thing. He's known as a serial killer. So, and I think that's a shame. I mean, I know he had a little bit of a rough childhood because there is a documentary um, uh, that was put out. It's called My Brother is a Serial Killer, and his brother is the main uh, person, you know, that's that's in it. But they, they talked to a couple other family members, but his brother is the main one. He also tried to take claim for being the one who murdered uh, Nicole Simpson and Ron Goldman, uh, but they never did find any proof of that. But he was trying to he was trying to take credit for that. But the police never found any evidence to connect him to those murders. So, anyway, I just wanted to do a, a little brief video on a, one of our infamous citizens um, that just went down the wrong path. Just went down the wrong path. So. Anyway, if you like this video, like it. Please leave any comments that you have in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, when I reach 300 subscribers, I'm going to have a 300 subscriber giveaway. And I'm only like about whew, 22 or so uh, subscribers away. So uh, subscribe to my channel and then I'll tell you how to get a chance to win a really nice gift. So anyway, thank you for watching.